The play is called Molly's Delicious by Craig Wright. It's set in 1965 and it is so fun. It has the funnest dialogue, really, really witty lines. I absolutely love the characters. I think the audience is going to fall in love with all of the characters because they're just they're so sassy. What's unique is the setting, I believe, because I don't believe that uh, I'm, I'm too familiar with romantic comedies taking place in Vietnam, the Vietnam era and all that, so that makes it unique to me. Yeah, yeah no, it is different. It's very different, and I mean, you know, I would say that in this time, in this, in this time period, you, like us looking back on it, we didn't see a lot of, oh, girls getting pregnant. We knew that that was wrong. They knew that it was wrong. Yeah. Now we're getting like a whole nother side to like this, um, this, this era. Right. You know, we're seeing the, the bad, not the bad, but the things that were considered bad in society. Like we're seeing those things happen. Allison getting pregnant, yeah. unwed. I really liked how intellectual he came off as. Uh, he seemed really conscious about himself. Um, very grounded, you know. Uh, he he sings a Bob Dylan song in it, so I was like, dude, I love Bob Dylan, <laughs> so that'd be cool. And I guess yeah, I just I like it. I like him a lot. He's a he's a, he's a good guy. Like uh, it's in the '60s, and she's a pregnant girl without a, a husband, you know. And so essentially, her parents send her away. And so that's that's what intrigued me. It's like this whole notion of. She's, a rebe she's rebellious at everything, you know. She enjoys the fact that she's a keeper uh, child and nothing can tell her. No one can tell her otherwise. What I think is awesome about this play is that it is just so inspiring. I, it's, it's definitely a romantic comedy, but I think, I feel that just the play overall will be an inspira inspirational piece for not only the actors portraying the story, but Hopefully, the audience that's watching it. You know, be him, be the character, be Alec. You know, Alec Burnside Willoughby, son of the local mortician. You know, we've been doing this for years, generation after generation. And that's, that's it. That's but Jerry's the guy that impregnated Allison, so he's the one that caused all this trouble, you know. He, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a gung-ho guy. Like, Everything's his way. He's, re he's very persuasive and uh, manipulative, but he's, a, he's an understanding guy at the same time.